experience to be able to play in the ACC and coach in the ACC. Um, I was fortunate again to coach in the Big East and the Big Ten, and that enabled me probably for 25, 30 years to coach against all the good college coaches in the country, basically, in those three conferences. So it, it was very enjoyable. And what was great about Cole Fieldhouse, all those coaches really felt strongly about coach about, about Cole Fieldhouse, about what a tough place it was to play, but yet what a great environment it was to play in. Um, you know, games in here in January, didn't matter what the temperature was outside, it was 100 degrees on the floor. Um, terrific advantage, you know, because we were used to it. Some teams were used to it. And, um, you know, it's just, you know, one of those places that um, most coaches and players would tell you they'd love to play, you know, a game in Coalfield House or whatever, and I got to coach here, so that was great. Used to do in uh, Cole Fieldhouse after practice. The press box uh, away from the benches, we would see if we could punt a basketball up there. And I could. I, I, was, I was probably the best punter on the basketball team. So uh, I was proud of that. But Walt Williams, you know, I, you know I'm just thinking of things now when you said it. Walt would play the manager after practice. Walt, you couldn't get Walt off the court. You know, he, he wouldn't leave. And so that, this is like 90. 91, 92, what would play the managers? And he'd try to beat the hell out of them every time he played. And he'd be laughing and, you know, he'd block every shot, you know, and things like that. And uh, I, used, I used to, you know, try to play Walt one on one a little bit, you know, back, back then. But uh, I was about as good as the managers. Yeah. So. We're not celebrating me or Cole Fieldhouse. We're just celebrating Mark Turgeon's team that's coming up. I told him, I'm not going to come if I don't see him scrimmage. But I want to see what kind of team he's going to have, which I know he's, I think he's going to have a good team. And I think he's an excellent coach, and, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here and, and call Phil. I, I tried to tell him last year you ought to have it at midnight. I still think it ought to be at midnight, because that's the way we drew a crowd. Most of the students, they're just starting to get it right at midnight. Eight o'clock now, it's just starting to go to parties and so forth. So that's the reason we filled it up, I think, it was because it was at midnight. But uh, it's an honor for me to be here, and I'm glad I could make it, because I'm 81 years, I'm almost 82. So uh, people forget, <laughs> I'm not the same guy that was stomping the, the sidelines years ago, and they was gonna, you know, this, this was my life for 17 years. And I woke up every morning thinking about Maryland winning basketball games and getting my club, my, players, you know, to graduate and to go to class, and so I'm just proud of the fact that I had some great players and they're great young men. Most of them are very successful right now, and so and that's, I mostly think about my players. First thing I remember is all those numbers I used to put up walking in this building, <laughs> so it felt real good. <laughs> I mean, this building has a lot of history and uh, it definitely shouldn't be forgotten. So it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful tribute to be able to be here and playing in this uh, arena again. I remember one where we had uh, shaved all our heads and, uh, and uh, man, it, I remember trying to get everybody to do that. So some, some had, to be, uh, had to be shaving by uh, force. So <laughs> I remember those days, but uh, um, we all oiled our heads up and, and didn't realize that it, it, would made our, it made our hands very slippery. So the ball was slippery all night. None of us played well <laughs> that night. So I'm sure the fans said it was, was a little bit uh, scary going into the season. You know, I, I think this team is uh, very talented, uh, especially uh, the wings and the guard play. Um, I think that uh, this coaching staff has done a great job of recruiting top-notch players. Uh, and so uh, they're going to be expected to contribute right away. And, um, you know, uh, blended with the guys that they had from last year, um, I think they uh, developed another year of, of experience, uh, blended with uh, these young guys, young, exciting guys. And we, we definitely should be a tournament team. I, I, I thought it was a fantastic night. It was, you know, what I expected. A lot of great memories, a lot of energy in the building. Um, our players loved it, former players loved it, I think the fans loved it, and uh, it's a great night for Maryland basketball. It was great because Lefty started all this 42 years ago, and just for him to be here, and of course he wanted to scrimmage at midnight. Um, that, that's what he wanted to do, and I said, I can't stay awake that late. So, so we did our little scrimmage, and we, you know, I thought 
we brought a lot of pass back tonight because of that. But uh, and then just Gary, you know, I've been around Gary a lot more, and uh, he was, you know, it was very cordial of him to be here and, and do his thing. And of course, he's well loved in this building. But uh, it's great to have those two guys because those two guys inspire me every day to work hard. And so to have those two guys there and that meant a lot to me. I think it would be great for Maryland basketball to try to do it once a year. But ultimately, in the end, I don't know if it will be my decision. I don't get excited for Maryland madness or Texas A&M madness or whatever, which still State shocker madness, whatever we called it. But tonight I was real excited. Okay, I was, I was excited during practice. I was excited after practice. I was excited when I walked in the building. Um, tonight was a cool night. It was one of those nights you'll always remember. We've talked to like guys that still come around, like Walt Williams, um, Juan Dixon, whenever Mouton comes back, or you know, uh, Tony Massenberg came back, and we talked to Lefty a lot about guys, basically tradition here, you know, so whatever chance I get to talk to Lefty, I ask him as many questions as I can about Lenny. You know, like, I didn't get a chance to really witness that, so I asked him so many questions about that. You know, like, I really, I care about legacy, and this place is, is, is a special place to be in. Does have a mid-court taste when you kissed him? <laughs> well, I didn't lick it, so. Um, <laughs> but it was great. You know, it was great. I, I probably I don't know if I'll get a chance to be on that court again or in this arena. It's my first time being in an arena since I've been in Maryland. You know, I've walked past it a lot of times. It's my first time being here. So that was just just my I guess my token of appreciation for all the guys who came before me who, who made this place a historic place to be at. So, And like I said before, I don't know if I ever get a chance to be in here. I'm not sure if we'll have games in here this year or for my senior year. So, you know, I just wanted to have a lasting impression on this place.